Hey everyone, welcome to another Lettuce Garden scripting tutorial. In this video, we are gonna go over how to make VIP chat tags for your game. So quick example, by the end of the video, if I type in a message and I'm a VIP, I'll get the VIP text chat tag right beside my name. And this system is super versatile because you can also do it for, you know, if you're a group high rank, if there's certain levels in your game that you want to have this developers, you can really set the system up to do whatever you want. The example we're going to use is a VIP chat tag system, but the principles apply to so many other problems. So if you want the assets for this, check out the link in the description. If you're interested in learning how to make it for yourself, watch the video. So the first thing we're going to want to do is come over to starter player and make a new script inside of starter player scripts. So we can make a new script and we're going to set the run context of this script to be client. And so in the script, what we're going to do is we're going to listen for when a player sends a message. So we can do local text chat service equals game get service text chat service. And we can do text chat service dot on incoming message equals function message. And what we can do here is we can return something called text chat message properties, which is an instance that alters something about our message. So let's create that here. So we can do properties equals instance dot new text chat message properties. And then we can return this and before we return it though, we want to edit it. So if we just did this, nothing would happen. No tags would be applied, nothing would show up. So what we want to do is we want to say, if this message comes from a player, so if the message has a text source, which means it came from a player, then, well, first we have to get that player. So player equals players, get player by user ID, message dot, text source dot user ID. And so for this, we have to import our players. So local players equals game, get service players. And now that we have our player, we can check to see if they're a VIP. Now we're gonna make this in a more optimized way. So the first way that a lot of people think of is they can use the marketplace service and just check to see if they own the game pass. And I mean, that would work. However, that means we're doing an API call every single time the player sends a message, which is not efficient at all. So what we want to do is instead, you know, maybe give this player some sort of attribute or tag if they are VIP. So for testing, we can do something like local is VIP. And for now, we can just set this to be true for testing. And then we can do if is VIP, then what we want to do here is we want to edit the text to put a VIP tag in front of it. So we can do properties dot prefix text equals VIP dot dot message dot prefix text. So what this will do is this will add a VIP tag to our message. And because we're just setting this VIP text there's this, sorry, this is VIP variable to be true. This will always run for the sake of our test. So let's just test this out. Um, come up here and click the test button. And so every time I send a message, you see that there's a VIP tag being applied. Now, two things we wanna change here. One, there needs to be a space between our VIP and our name. And we also want to change the color to be something more a little bit more elaborate. So first let's add the space. So to add the space, we can just add a space at the end here. And to change the color, we're gonna use Roblox rich text. And rich text allows us to change properties about our string. So let me show you. So for this, we're gonna change something called the font. So on your keyboard, you want to find the less than symbol, type in font, and then on the other side of VIP, we're gonna do the less than symbol with a forward slash font and then 
a greater than symbol. So we want to wrap our VIP around these two fonts. So less than font, then less than slash font greater than. And right now this won't do anything. However, this lets us set up, um, this lets us put settings within. So now we can set the color. So we can do color equals, and then we want to do two single quotes, followed by a smaller, um, sorry, followed by a greater than symbol. So font color equals two single quotes, VIP finished by font. And then within these two single quotes, here's where we can do our magic. So what color do we want to use? Well, here we can set a variable, local colors equals color three dot from RGB. And I want my VIP tag to be red. So I'm just gonna set this to be red. And if you want to set it to any other color, you can just open up the panel here and set it to be any other color. And then we need to get the hex code from this. So we can do local hex equals color two hex. And so the hex code is just a, a code that is used to describe certain colors. Um, it's used a lot in like web programming. However, it's also used in Roblox rich text. And what we can do here is we can do, and this is gonna be a little bit messy, so please follow along very closely. We want to do a double quote, and between our double quotes, we want to set two periods, hex, followed by two periods. So really what we have here is we have a single quote, double quote, two periods, hex, two periods, double quote, single quote. And all of those quotes are very important. Um, and before our double quote and single quote, we want to put a hashtag because hex codes and rich text need to have a hashtag in front of it, but the Roblox to hex method does not return this for us. So now if we test out our game and I send a message, I will now have a red VIP tag next to my character or my character's name. So now we need to make sure the player actually owns the VIP game pass before we apply this tag. So right now we're just saying, is VIP true? But wouldn't it be really nice if we could just say something like player get attribute VIP? That'd be pretty nice. Um, so let's set that up. So let's give each VIP player an attribute that says VIP. So let's create a new script on the server and we'll name this VIP attribute and okay, well first we need, we need to make our VIP game pass. So I'll show you how to make a VIP game pass so that we can get the ID. To make a game pass for our game, we want to come to create.roblox.com. And on the left hand side here, where it says creator, you want to change this to be either your group or your account, depending on where you want the game pass to be. And then you'll get a list here of all of the experiences you own. And you can click view all if you don't see yours here. Mine right here is the VIP door game. So I'm gonna click this. And it brings up our analytics page. However, if we go over to the left hand side, we can scroll down to where it says monetization products. We can click passes. We can create a new pass. And let's name this VIP. And we can just set some random description. This is the VIP game pass. And you can set your image if you want. I'm not gonna set one for this case. And now we have our game pass here. Now it's off sale. So if we want people to be able to buy our game pass, let's click our new game pass here. Come over to where it says sales on the left hand side. And then you can check this item for sale and set a price. So let's say we want our VIP to be 100 Robux. We can set the price to 100. Click save and that has updated our price. So if we go back to the main page here, if we click these three dots, we can click the copy asset ID, and this is the ID that we want for our script. So once you have that copied, we can go back over to Roblox Studio. So once you have your ID, we can come up here, make a new variable, local ID equals that, and we can import our marketplace service. So local marketplace service equals game 
get service, marketplace service, and then we can say, uh, let's create a player added function. So local function player added and player. So every time the player joins the game, we want to check if they own the VIP. So to check if they join, to check if to check when they join the game, you can import players. And down here we can do players dot player added connect. And then we can add in the we can set the player added function. So the player added function here will call get called every time the player joins the game. And in case players join the game before the script runs, we also need to loop through all the players in the game. And we need to call player added on those as well. So we loop through all the players and add them or give it to our player added function. And we also check when all new players are added. So what we can do here is we can do if marketplace service user owns game pass player dot user ID and the ID then player set attribute VIP true. So if they own the VIP game pass, we'll set them to be VIP. And we also want to detect when players buy the game pass in our game. So we can do marketplace service prompt game pass purchase finished connect function player game pass ID was purchased. So then we can do if game pass ID doesn't equal our ID, then we're just going to return. So for not equal, it's squiggly line equal. So if the game pass that was purchased isn't the game pass that we're checking, we can just return. And then we can say, if not was purchased, then return. So if they didn't buy it, also return. However, if it is the game pass and they did buy it, we can say player set attribute VIP true. So now what we're checking is when they join the game, we check to see if they own the VIP game pass. And when they buy it from our game, we're also going to give them the VIP attribute um, for the chat tag system. So right now, if I test this out and I type in a message here, I don't have a VIP game pass or a tag by my character's name. However, if I go onto the website real quick and buy it, let me show you what happens. So I've just bought the game pass. So if I come back into our game now and type a message, oh, looks like it didn't work. Oh, that's because this script should be in server script service and not server storage. Scripts don't run in server storage. So now if I come back and test this out and I type in OK, the VIP tag is now appearing. So that's how you can add a VIP tag to your game. And you can also set this up to be whatever you want. So maybe here, rather than doing VIP stuff, we're setting it to be if you're a high rank in a group, for example. And then here, rather than setting VIP, we can set it to be like, you know, HR. So this system is very versatile. You can do whatever you want with it pretty much. If you have any questions about what other things you can do with this, come over to our Discord server and we can help you out there. And if you want the assets, check out the link in the description for the download link. Thanks for watching.